All right. All right, Doug Ford, he wins the majority. He's at the Toronto Congress Centre and he's going to speak. Let's listen in. from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being here, and thank you for sharing this unforgettable moment. And I love you too. I'll tell you, I am, I am so humbled by your support. I see some faces here tonight who've been with my family from day one. But what excites me the most, what just pumps me up, are all the new faces I see out there. So I'm, I, I am so grateful for all your support over the years. It's what keeps me going. And, and to the people of Ontario, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your trust. And thank you for once again putting your confidence in me. It's, it's a responsibility that I will never take lightly. But most importantly, thank you for sharing in a vision for our great province. Sharing, sharing in a dream of a bright and prosperous future, an era of unprecedented growth and opportunity. So if you're a miner in the north who's out of work, I want you to know we're building that road to the ring of fire. If you've had to worry about your job at the local auto plant, I want you to know we're investing in the future of Ontario's auto sector. If you're a student who wants to work in the tech sector, we will have a job waiting for you. If, if you're a newcomer with a degree who can't get a job in your field, we'll make sure you can get credentials you need. This is what we're working for. This is what the Ontario dream is all about. And my promise to you, you have my word, that every single day I will get up and I will get to work and I will do everything in my power to deliver on this dream. Because tonight's victory, it isn't about me, it isn't about the party. This victory belongs to every worker who knows that they deserve better. It belongs to every family who knows that they can dream bigger. But most of all, this victory belongs to each and every one of you. And, and to my rock, my wife Carla, my beautiful daughters, my entire family, thank you for always be, believing in me and thank you for standing with me through thick and thin. I want to I wanna thank my entire campaign team and every candidate who ran for our party. But most, most importantly, I want to thank the thousands and thousands of volunteers who spent the last month hitting the doors. Together, we knocked on over three million doors during this campaign. It's, that, that number is absolutely incredible. It's staggering. It takes an army to win a victory like this. So please know that tonight is your night. I also need to take a moment 
to recognize Andrea, Mike, and Stephen. It takes a lot to put your name forward in a race like this. And while we had different ideas, I truly believe that we share desire to see Ontario succeed. And for my part, they deserve an applause. Thank you. And for my part, I did my best to run a positive campaign, to put forward a clear and consistent message, to offer a plan that everyone could get behind. I promise to build this province, to say yes to more housing, yes to attainable housing, so families once again can strive for the dream of home ownership. To say yes to building the infrastructure that keeps communities going. To put our wor workers to work, building the subways, the hospitals, and the highways that our growing province desperately needs. Uh, to, to run a smarter, more efficient government so we can reduce the unfair burdens, light the license plate stickers, and the gas tax. My friends, this is a plan I put forward. And I've spent the last five weeks traveling to every corner of this province, meeting with the hardworking women and men who are building Ontario. And I can tell you, we are ready. Ontario's ready, ready to get it done. We're ready to roll up our sleeves, to rise to the occasion, because we have the potential for greatness. We are blessed with every advantage, a bright and hard-working workforce, an abundance of natural resources. We have the critical minerals that the entire world is after. We have the capital, the technology, and the ingenuity. But most importantly, we have a vision, a dream. I see it as I look out into the crowd. I see it in your faces. I see hope. I see optimism, and your energy, your passion, it's what keeps me going every day. My friends, because it all started almost three decades ago, right here in Etobicoke. It started with my dad, Doug Ford Sr., my mom, Diane, and my brother, Rob, whose birthday was just last week and who I owe so much to. I know that they're up there in heaven and they are celebrating with us tonight. Friends, it started with all of us together. And over the years, we've had our ups and downs. We've tasted victory and we've faced defeat. But through it all, we never gave up. And when I think about how far we've come, how far we've traveled together, we started as an idea. A new approach to politics, thanks over the years, thanks to each of you showing up at our events, volunteering at the doors, spreading our message. Thanks to you, what started as an idea turned into a movement. A political movement that changed the landscape of this province and this country forever. Together, we're reimagining our party, we're reimagining our province, and tonight, we have changed what it means to be a progressive conservative in Ontario. It's no, my friends, it's no, it's no longer about being part of the blue, the red, the orange, or green team. It's about recognizing that there's so much that unites us. This is my proudest achievement as a leader of this party, building a new coalition, expanding our base, creating a more inclusive party where everyone matters. Because never in our lifetime has it been more important for a party to represent all of Ontario. Now, now more than ever, we need unity. The road ahead, it won't be easy. We have big challenges in front of us, an uncertain global economic climate, we are competing against other jurisdictions for every job, for every dollar of investment, but Ontario is stronger. We're absolutely unstoppable when we stand together. And so tonight, I call for unity, and whether you work on the assembly line and voted NDP your entire life, or cast your last ballot for the federal Liberals, I want you to know 
that as long as I'm here, there's room for you in this party. I will fight for you every single day. And friends, when I think about the workers, when I think about the unions who got behind us in this election, when I think about the coalition that we have built together, it's incredible because there was a time not long ago when some of the same people who are with us now couldn't see a home for themselves in this party. It wasn't easy. We had, we had to admit our mistakes. We had to build back confidence. And that journey, it's not over. I'm the first to admit that there's more work to be done. But tonight's result, it proves that we're on the right track, that this approach is the right one. And tonight results proves that this is how we get things done by being inclusive, by focusing on what unites us, and being ready to work with anyone. And with this approach together, we are unstoppable because we're just getting started. But, 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 Tonight we celebrate because this is your night. Tonight the people have spoken from Windsor to Cornwall, from Timmins and thank God Timmins to Ajax. Together we're blazing a new trail, we're charting a new course, we're telling the world this is our time, this is our moment because this is our province. I want to thank you, thank you and God bless the people of Ontario. Thank you. All right, Doug Ford giving a rousing uh, acceptance speech, thank you speech, uh, over to um, Evan and Nick Nanos. Who is this person I heard you say? <laughs> well, this is Doug Ford 2.0, Doug Ford the pragmatist, Doug Ford the, with, with now it looks like 81 seats. The two words that Doug Ford said that will send a chill down any opposition, he said this is a new coalition. He mentioned the private sector unions. He mentioned that there are new people in this coalition. Uh, I just got a, a very senior former Kathleen Wynne government official saying this signals a seismic potential permanent shift in Ontario politics. And that's the fear right now. And uh, one last thing. There are federal conservatives looking at yeah, this. Exactly. Yeah. Pierre Polyevra. Oh. Uh, who's looking at this and says, boy, this is not my playbook. Jean Charan, Pat Brown are writing this down. They're copying this. So this has potential seismic shifts provincially and federally. Well, okay. you know, well, think of it this way. You know, one thing that we do know federally and also at the provincial level is that many people feel abandoned, that the center has been abandoned. It's pretty clear that Doug Ford and his leadership of the progressive conservatives is clearly veering towards kind of a more pragmatic approach that kind of chimes into people that uh, that actually quite resonates. Let's listen. Yeah. Boy, this Thank you so much.